Hey guys, this is Grant with Nick's Handmade Boots and today we're gonna to be talking about all of the boot options. Today in this video, we're not necessarily talking about fitting or about the different last options. If you're interested in those, go ahead and take a look at our other videos that cover the fitting and the last topic. Today, we're just talking about all the boot options that you see on different people's boots on social media. And those are the options that we present on our website under the products. The first boot option is boot height. A 10 inch boot is synonymous with a NYX boot. The 10 inch top meets the NFPA certification standard. It's also the go-to classic shaft height for optimum leg protection and also ankle support. A close second to the 10 inch is the eight inch top. This is common on our, on our Ranger boot and our Traveler boot. This is again, a great option for work boots. It's for those that don't necessarily need the 10 inch top for protection, but this offers incredible ankle support. For those who just simply aren't used to wearing these taller boots, six inches is the way to go. It doesn't necessarily give you the leg protection that the 10 inch provides, but all of our boots offer amazing ankle support. So this is more for people that just don't need the protection. They're not too concerned about banging their shins or scraping their shins up. Uh, six inches is the way to go for those folks. Anything higher than 10 for most people isn't really necessary. Uh, for linemen perhaps, for people that are really going to have extreme abrasion, uh, for climbers, for arborists, you might consider going up to 14 or 16 inches. 12 inch I would say is probably the least common. It kind of awkwardly hits you right at the calf muscle, which can actually cause some fit concerns. For most customers, a 10 inch boot is more than adequate for most jobs, even if you're climbing, even if you're doing the toughest jobs out there, 10 inch is gonna be more than adequate for most folks. The next option is leather. Here at Nick's Handmade Boots, we offer a variety of work boot leathers. These leathers are optimal for work environments. Most of our boots will default to a smooth over rough out. This is the same, the smooth and the rough out is the same height, it's just turned inside out. The reason we do that is for abrasion resistance. It more or less hides the scuffs. These leathers are normally seven and a half to eight ounces. They're oil tanned in the USA. You can't go wrong with these boots if you're looking for serious work boots. In addition to our work boot leathers, we have our heritage leathers. For those that are doing more casual use or light duty work, these are great options. We have these leathers on a rotator, and so we're constantly bringing in different tannages, different colors. Check our website frequently for the different options that we have under the Heritage Boots. The next option is toe cap versus non-toe cap. The toe cap is an aesthetic cap on the toe. It's a true toe cap. It's not a faux toe cap. So that means that it's an actual secondary piece of leather that goes on top of the vamp. You've got eight ounces here and you've got another six ounces. For most people, a toe cap is not needed because our leather is already seven to eight ounces. Very few people, if any, are gonna wear through this. This is an option simply for those who appreciate the look of a toe cap. The cons to the toe cap is just expect your boot to feel a lot bigger. We're adding extra material here. We're creating more structure in the toe box. So these boots are gonna feel bigger and longer than the non-toe cap version. The non-toe cap boot is gonna allow you to break in the boot a little bit better in the toe area. But again, it, the preference is yours and we offer it for those that really need it. The next option is gonna be toe structure. Here at Nick's Boots, we have soft toes, elastic toes, composite toes, and steel toes. Soft toe, again, even though this is a soft toe, you've got eight ounces of leather and you also have a four ounce leather liner inside. So even though we call this a soft toe, it actually provides more structure than most mass produced boots. The elastic toe is really a fiber toe. This is a piece of felt that's infused with some resin. And that's really for people 
that want to keep the shape of their toe box. It's not safety rated, but it does prevent the toe from collapsing a little bit. So for those that want to maintain that toe box form, go with Celastic Toe. We also offer Composite Toe and Steel Toe. The major difference here is obviously steel gets a little colder than the composite material, but you can see the shape of the composite toe. It's a bit more bulbous than the steel toe. From a fitting standpoint, we've had a lot more success with the steel toe. It's more of a more normal profile where the composite toe is a bit more bulbous. Anytime you're adding an internal structure to the boot, such as a composite toe, steel toe, and even sometimes a celastic toe, expect that the internal structure of the boot is gonna be a little bit longer and sometimes a bit wider. Whenever you're adding a structure to the toe box of the boot, you are compromising a little bit on the size of the boot. It's gonna look and feel a little bit different. So for those that are going through, let's say the try-on process, we might send a non-safety toed boot, even though your final pair is gonna be a safety toe boot, just expect that your final pair is gonna fit differently and look differently in the toe box compared to the try-on. The next option is the lineman shank. That's right, it's not steel, it's leather. It's actually a half midsole that we use. The lineman shank is a secondary half midsole that we put in here to add support and rigidity under the shank of the boot here. This is really only necessary for those that are locking into hooks and gaffs for climbers and arborists, it's really not needed for anybody else. So if your job is requiring that you are on hooks and gaffs for most of the day, you might consider the lineman shank. If you're not on hooks and gaffs, there's no need to have it. The next option is gonna be boot thread. Our no burn thread is really only needed for those that need to pass the National Fire Protection Agency certification. For those that need an NFPA certified boot, we build the boot with a no burn sewing thread and a no burn sole stitching thread. For those that are not fighting wildland fire, you don't necessarily need that no burn thread. Our standard thread is optimized for durability. We've been using this for almost 60 years and it's not gonna fail you. The next option is sole stack. You'll see a thick and a thicker version. Honestly, very hard to tell the difference between the thick and the thinner version. Some of that verbiage on the website is actually legacy verbiage. The thick and the thicker versions are both extremely durable, very robust boots. If you happen to be 250 pounds plus, or you're just worried about possibly feeling terrain under your foot and you want almost like a hockey puck feel, you don't want to feel any terrain under your foot, you might choose the thick version. But honestly, the difference is minute and the vast majority of customers can't even tell the difference. The next option is outsoles. We'll start with the lug sole options. We offer three tried and true lug sole options for our work boots. The Vibram Red X, the non Red X, and the Honey Vibram. These are all the same pattern as you can see. The only difference between these two is this has no burn and self-extinguishing properties. If you need an NFPA certified boot, it'll default with the Red X sole. Just because you're in fire doesn't necessarily mean that you need this sole. This is again for people that need a boot that meets the 1977 National Fire Protection Agency certification. If you don't need that, go with the tried and true black V100 lug sole for those that are looking for something with the same tread pattern, but maybe just a touch softer, we offer the Honey Vibram, which if you push your fingernail into these soles, you're gonna find that this one is just a little bit softer. Some of the other less aggressive soles that we offer for the work boots, we call this the V-Bar sole, the 430 Mini Vibram, and the 2021 Wedge sole. The 2021, again, is good for those that can't have a heel and need a very flat surface. The difference between the 430 Mini and the V-Bar, the thickness of these soles is very similar. You can just see that the tread pattern is a little bit different. This sole is gonna be a little bit cleaner. If you're in and out 
of the house and you need something that you can wipe off a little cleaner, this is the way to go. If you're looking for something with a little bit more traction or tread, the 430 is the way to go. Honestly, these two soles are way more similar than they are different from a wear standpoint. The last selector on the website is gonna be edge dressing. We have the brown option, black, and natural. The natural is nice as it has a, a contrast, especially if your boot leather is a little darker. These are all gonna look the same. Once they're worn, we use a water-based ink on these. You'll start to see even on the brown and the black, as you expose it to the elements, you'll start to see it come off a bit. The natural stain, as you wear it, it's gonna darken. Sometimes when boots come back for resole and rebuild, we can't even tell what color they started out as. So this is more for kind of an out of the box appearance for those that are gonna go ahead and, and, and work in their boots. You know, going with a darker stain might be the way to go. For those that are looking for a little bit more character, the natural is a great look out of the box. Lots to think about and ponder as you're navigating the website and choosing your boots. Keep in mind that just because we have the options, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be in your favor or benefit you from a comfort standpoint. There's options there that decrease comfort. There's options there that you simply don't need. At the end of the day, don't overthink it. There's a lot of options, but more than likely our standard options are gonna be the best bet for you. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a second and subscribe to our channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh,